Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let us solve some important questions from Anatomy, Medical Terminology, Coding Guidelines and Compliance sections. There will be 10 questions in this video. Watch this video till the end because it is going to be very helpful for your CPC exam preparation. Let's start with the first question. Before that, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. The first question is, the phalanx is option A bone, option B muscle, option C tendon and option D ligament. The right answer is option A bone. Phalanx refers to any of the bones in the fingers or toes. Next question. According to the repair CPT guidelines, what type of repair is reported when a single layer closure includes copious irrigation and extensive cleaning to remove particulate matter? The right answer will be option B, intermediate repair. In your CPT manual, integumentary system under repair, you can find intermediate repair definition. They have given single layer closure of heavily contaminated wounds that have required extensive cleaning, which is matching with this question. Right. Therefore, the right answer will be option B, intermediate repair. Next question. An ABN form is given to a patient to sign and acknowledge that Medicare may deny the service or procedure. What does ABN stand for? The right answer is option C, Advance Beneficiary Notice. Make sure that you read the options thoroughly so that you don't get confused. Next question. According to parenthetical instructions in the CPT codebook, what modifier will be reported when a blepharoplasty is performed on the right and left lower eyelids? Without thinking much, we'll check the code 15820. 15820 is for blepharoplasty lower eyelid. In the question, they have given blepharoplasty is performed on right and left lower eyelids therefore it is bilateral below the code 15823 you can see they have given for bilateral blepharoplasty add modifier 50 right therefore we will use modifier 50 this is a very simple question the right answer is option d highlight that parenthetical note next question a patient has been diagnosed with meningitis what is meningitis? Itis means inflammation. Right. Therefore, the right answer will be option D. Inflammation surrounding the brain and spinal cord. Itis is not infection. It is not enlargement. It is not swelling. Therefore, you can directly eliminate three options. That is A, B, C. Itis means inflammation. Meningitis is the medical term for inflammation of the meninges, which is a protective membrane covering the brain and spinal cord. Next question. Patient is diagnosed with dacrocystitis, which is the inflammation of option A, lacrimal sac, option B, eardrum, option C, cornea and option D, fingernail. The right answer is option A, lacrimal sac. Dacrocystitis is an inflammation of the tear sac. Tear sac is also known as lacrimal sac. Dacrocystitis is caused by blocked tear duct that traps tears which leads to bacterial growth. Next question. Which of the following is a commercial or private payer? Option A. Medicare. Option B. Veterans Health Administration. Option C. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Option D, Medicare. The right answer is option C, Blue Cross Blue Shield. A commercial or private payer is any health insurance company that is not government funded. Option A, Medicare. Option B, Veterans Health Administration and Option D, Medicare. All these come under federal government program. Among these, only Blue Cross Blue Shield is a commercial or a private payer. Payer. Therefore, the right answer is option C. Next question. Which of the following is an example of a case in which diabetes related problem exists and code for diabetes is never sequenced first? 
ऑप्शन ए इफ द पेशेंट बीइंग ट्रीटेड फॉर सेकेंडरी डायबिटीज ऑप्शन बी इफ द पेशेंट हैज हाइपरग्लाइसेमिया दैट इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू मेडिकेशन ऑप्शन सी इफ द पेशेंट इज बीइंग ट्रीटेड फॉर टाइप टू डायबिटीज एंड ऑप्शन डी इफ द पेशेंट हैज एन अंडरडोज ऑफ इंसुलिन ड्यू टू एन इंसुलिन पम्प माल The right answer is option D. If the patient has an underdose of insulin due to insulin pump malfunction, you can find this guideline in your ICD manual, Chapter Four, Endocrine, Nutritional, and Metabolic Diseases. In that, you can see diabetes guidelines, complications due to insulin pump malfunction, that is, underdose of insulin due to insulin pump failure. In that, you can see. An underdose of insulin due to an insulin pump failure should be assigned to a code from subcategory T85.6. And below that, you can see additional codes for the type of diabetes mellitus and any associated complications due to the underdosing should also be assigned. So, in this case, code for diabetes is not sequenced first. First, you have to code for underdose of insulin due to insulin pump. failure next question blood from the right ventricle travels next to option a right atrium option b the brain option c the left ventricle and option d the lungs the right answer is option d the lungs in the cpc exam if you get confused or you want to make sure your answer is right you can check the anatomical illustration which is given in your icd manual you can check the diagram you can see the blood flows from right ventricle to the lungs through pulmonary artery therefore the right answer will be option d next question which entity offers compliance program guidance to form the basis of voluntary compliance program for a provider practice option a american medical association option b office of inspector general option c office for civil rights and option d centers for medicare and medicaid services the right answer is option b office of inspector general oig please make a note of this so that's it for today thanks for watching i will see you in the next video